Hi, this is Clark from Inflectra. We're going to take a look at how to navigate around Spyro Team 5. So I'm right here on a brand new installation and let's get ourselves logged in. Administrator is the default username and please change capital P capital C is the default password, which I think is just an awesome password. Uh, makes you remember you really should change it for security reasons. So when you first log in the very first time, this is what you're going to see. We are actually on the My page. This is your personal dashboard. Currently it's looking very empty. We haven't got any tasks yet. If you want to know more about this dashboard and the other dashboards in the application, check out the link in the top right of the screen now. So we don't want to take this tour. We're going to have a tour today. We're going to talk about how to navigate around the application, specifically the power that's packed into this top navigation bar inside Spyro Team. Now, the first thing you're going to do is select a project. You can see choose project. Click this drop down. We're going to select library information system. And you can see we're taken to another dashboard. And this has lots of information about that project on it. All the data, all the settings are stored on a per project basis and they're grouped into programs. So here we have live information system, sample application one. They're both inside this internal projects program. Sample application two project is inside the external projects program. So we have two programs and inside this one is our current one library information system. Once you've selected a project, you'll see this part of the menu appear. This stores all the artifacts for this project grouped into planning, testing, and tracking. And what you see here will vary based on which version of Spyro you have, Spyro Team, Spyro Plan, or Spyro Test. And there's a video in this playlist explaining the differences between those three products. Now, each of these artifacts has been custom created to give exactly what you need for that particular activity. In between the projects and the artifacts, we have a global search. And here you search across the entire application I'm just going to do a very simple search now. You can see it pops up all the results. Nothing particularly interesting here, but you can see you can easily change the order of the results. You can filter it by different types of artifact, and you can filter by either all projects everywhere or just this project. So you can see in this project, we have three incidents. You can see by the IN stands for incident. And if you click on that, you'll be taken right to that item. And over on the far right of the menu bar, this is the name of the current user as well as their avatar. If you want to change information about the current user yourself logged in, click on my profile from the menu or click on the name. More information about how to do this is linked in a video showing in the top right now. From here, you can also log out of the application, access to help, and also see a list of all the keyboard shortcuts inside the application. Now, finally, let's go over here to the top left of the menu. This is the Spira icon. And from here, if you click it, that's how you get back to your My Personal Dashboard. But in here, there's also other useful information. This is the My Page on Now. This is My Time Card, where you enter in hours you spent on different tasks. And if you have access to it, you can also get to the Administration Console, all sorts of settings for users, for Spira team as a whole, as well as for specific projects. So that's been a quick run through of how to get around the application. I hope you found it useful. If so, please leave a like. I'd also love to know what your first experiences of using Spyro Team or Spyro Test or Plan have been. So please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for Spyro Team and other Inflectra products, also please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.